Experts have said the economic blockade started around 2013 when credit rating agencies started increasing the figures of Venezuelan risk, starting at 726 points and reaching 5,595 points in May 2018, a higher number than those given to countries fighting wars. This makes it increasingly difficult to ask for international credit to invest in a country and to control foreign debt. On April 24th, a worldwide campaign was started to condemn economic sanctions against Venezuela by the U.S. These resources are for the people, for food, health and public services, for housing and infrastructure. What the U.S. government is doing is a criminal act. These statements have been supported by the United Nations, which has warned about the negative impact of unilateral sanctions imposed by the U.S. Regime change through economic measures likely to lead to the denial of basic human rights and indeed possibly to starvation has never been an accepted practice of international relations. Political differences between governments must never be resolved by precipitating economic and humanitarian disasters, making ordinary people pawns and hostages thereof. Venezuela has over $4.5 billion currently blocked in various international banks. On top of that, there are multiple sanctions against Venezuelan banks and a ban on operating in dollars placed on the Central Bank of Venezuela. Adding to this the blockade against public company Citgo, located in the U.S., the total of frozen funds comes to over $30 billion. Medicine and food are both with $4,000 billion a year. So the total figure of stolen funds represent almost seven years of medicine and food for all Venezuelan citizens. But there is a huge damage being done to our currency too, generating hyperinflation. We estimate that this adds to $114 billion in losses for the Venezuelan people. The strategy by the U.S. of imposing collective sanctions affects the country's entire budget. They are going to create pressure from the inside to generate economic and social destabilization. They have said that they are going to accelerate the collapse. Trump said that worse things are coming, so we need to be ready. We need to be especially careful with internal threats. In order to overcome the blockade, Venezuela is going to work to diversify its international allies and strengthen national production.